Okay guys, so um, I know this look is different. It's more dark, I guess, but I swear when I saw this Instagram picture um, of this girl, like I was just on scrolling through my feed, you know, and then I saw this. And she just like gave it to me. I was like, dude, I need to try to like recreate that. Just something, right? Like, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know. I just, I love red tones. I know like maroon and red and the oranges and you know, those kind of colors really have been like popping lately, you know? So I was like, you know what? I need to, I, I just need to do this look. Like it was just i don't know at least do it my way anyways or <clears throat> recreate it as best as i can anyway but i did want to show the picture and share her instagram uh, it's at lauren roher i i can't pronounce it but i will link her down below i just you know i didn't want to just do the look and take credit for it when it's not mine you know um so give credit to where credit is due because i'm a firm believer you're gonna like recreate something or do something like that other people are doing or something like yeah. give them credit you know what i mean because it's not yours like or you didn't create it or whatever right you just recreate it so um i wanted to just you know put her picture on there and um on here sorry and um yeah give her the credit for the look but that's where my inspiration came from and i hope you guys enjoy this kind of grungy darker look um tutorial yeah. but yeah so Let's just get right into the tutorial and I'll see you guys on the next one. So getting right into it, I'm using my e.l.f. primer that you guys know I've been in love with. I've just been using it on every single video. Um, I usually use my pore refining primer from Smashbox. It's the purple one. I really like that one for like my nose area and my forehead, but I do grab the regular Smashbox primer, this little one that I have a sample size of and i'm just gonna use that on my t-zone kind of just because i like to try and fill my pores with a little more of a silicone -y, um primer taking my jacqueline hill morphe palette i'm gonna grab the third shadow right there on the second row and just fill in my brows with that um i go back and forth between like dip brow pencils um all of the whatever you know to film my brows it's just whatever i'm kind of in the mood for honestly just whatever is like right there in front of me i'm like ah oh, whatever i'll just use this powder or this dip brow or whatever so i'm filling in my brows here um i actually have been liking powder versus dip brow recently i don't know why but um i guess it's just a little bit softer so yeah i'm just filling in my brows <laughs> nothing special Now I'm just taking my um, brow drama from Maybelline. Um, I really do like this. It's it, it sets my brows and it keeps my brow hairs in place. I don't have them kind of like falling down or like the product being too thick or whatever. Um, it's really good, inexpensive. Uh, you get it at Target, Walmart, wherever they sell Maybelline. So yeah, and then I'm gonna carve my brows out with um, let's just say mascara with a concealer. And yeah, that's about it for the brows. Now taking soft ochre from MAC, um, I usually always use this base. I really do like the Urban Decay. I believe it's a primer potion in original and then they have another one that I like. I forgot the name of it. It's more, it's a little shimmery or it's like hydrating or something like that. Um, but soft ochre is good because it does cancel out any, like if you have pigmentation, darkness, redness on your eyelids or anything like that. Then I take like a soft white or a pale yellow shade and go over my eyes um, just to set it so when you do use the soft ochre it doesn't kind of like skip when you're trying to blend out.
now i'm taking the mi vida loca palette from kat von d and this is my brother's girlfriend's palette she lent it to me thank you savvy um yeah she lent it to me just to use it and i was like dude perfect for the look that i'm trying to go for because it does have the darker red and then i am also gonna take um I believe it's red ochre from the Anastasia Mata Renaissance palette because that red is a little darker than this red so I just put this one as a base kind of base color um, not blending anything out here yet or anything just put it on as a base color and then I'm gonna take the soft ochre and mix that in as well um, like I'm doing here and yeah then just So now I'm taking um, this orange color from the Modern Renaissance palette and just blending out um, the red shadows. I didn't want to use like a brown because it's probably going to just take away from the redness of the whole overall look. I do go in with a taupey kind of brown, like it's very very light, it's almost like a blurring color. It really doesn't give any color but I love the fact that it's like that because then it just blends out your crease without having to add color or brown or something like that. I just love it. Um, it's that one right there called Noble. So yeah, I'm sorry again for the lighting. I know it's still kind of harsh. It's still kind of like is in and out all the time. But I did get a diffuser and it should be here on Wednesdays. So by the time you're watching this video, it should be here. But um, yeah, I'm just, you know, um, I'm going to, I'm receiving that so the lighting will be better and it won't be as harsh. So you guys could see, like I said before, the looks for truly what they are. Um, this look is more burgundy than red, but on camera it looks really red and that's fine. I still loved the overall outcome, but yeah, so I just, you know, now I'm going back and forth between all the shadows and like adding more color and adding more red, then adding more orange, then blurring it out. I'm just going back and forth between everything. And I didn't have foundation on yet because I didn't want fallout to go onto my foundation and I mean I have to wipe it off it's kind of like you know why wipe off my foundation if I could just do it last so yeah then I'm just gonna take my foundation and do my foundation routine which it's pretty much the same it's not gonna change for a while because I just you know I when I get stuck to a foundation and a concealer I kind of just use it and use it and use it until I'm really tired of it and then I just find something else so um yeah here I'm just putting my foundation on and then gonna blend it out with a beauty blender and um yeah that's about it So now just um, contouring, highlighting with creams like I usually do. Um, the LA Girl concealers, um, even just the regular concealers like for under your eyes, it's really, really nice. Um, I really like these. I always, I mean, I've been doing this for a while already, um, the cream contouring and stuff. And I've only used, this one, this is my first cream contour and the only one I've ever used. Um, but yeah, I really, really like it. Um, you know, I feel like it gives just such a nice finish to your face. And then when you set it with powder, it just looks even better. 
so these are only like a dollar 99 i think the elf brush is like three bucks so you know five bucks and you have yourself some cream contour and then i'm taking another elf brush and blending out my um my nose my beauty blender and blending out my eyes all of that stuff i just want to take this time right now guys um to say thank you for my i believe it's like 30 or 31 subs and for everybody who watches my videos um I know like every YouTuber is like, oh my god, you guys don't understand how much and how much I appreciate it and whatever, but I really do appreciate it because it does take a lot of time to do these videos and especially being a mom, you know, you have a lot of distraction and a lot of, you know, mommy, I need this, mommy, I need that. So you, what you guys see in these like 14, 15 minutes is really like two hours, three hours worth of stuff, you know, worth of recording. And then it's like four hours worth of editing, but on and off because obviously you have have to feed my son and you know change a diaper or two or you know stuff like that but I really do love doing this YouTube thing and yeah you know so um thank you once again so here I'm just taking a pencil brush and adding exactly the same shadows that I did um on the lid onto my lower lash line and then i believe i'll be taking um my rimmel scandalize in nude and putting that in my waterline just to open up my eye um i really love that pencil too like i tried um what is it called rue bonaparte from nars and it's a like a nude pencil as well but that one just didn't stay in my waterline like it faded away it would make my eyes watery i don't know if it's the formula of the nars pencils or what but um yeah i mean this this rimmel one has never done me wrong so and and it lasts it lasts a pretty good while so um yeah i really enjoy that one Then I'm taking um, a shimmery, the shimmery white shadow from um, the Mi Vida Loca palette. But honestly, any shimmery white eyeshadow would do for your brow bone. Um, yeah, uh, I like, I really like this one though. I really just like the overall turnout of this look. And after this, I'm gonna get my Anastasia contour kit, and I'm gonna be using the middle shade. It's more like um, on the topier side. It's like more like a like a grayish brown instead of being so warm because the look was already super warm i didn't want to you know have so much contrast with the orangey kind of a bronzer or contour and then i just added my eyelashes off camera so my camera died when i was adding my lip products but i did use these three products i used i believe the color is berries from it's either berries or plum from la girl lip uh, the lip liner and then i used hypno from the manny ofra um collection and then i used american doll just in the center to give some depth to the lips so it wasn't just super um burgundy and then i got champagne pot from becca and i added that to the high points of my cheeks and down the bridge of my nose and on the tip of my nose i believe above my lip my chin and then on my forehead so i am using this ben eye setting spray it's pretty intense it um really makes your makeup stick all night so if you're looking for something to like really make your make really make your makeup last this setting spray is amazing i just ran on my la girl my fix plus so that's why i was using this one so that's it for the look guys, I hope you enjoyed and I will see you on the next one.